Hey everyone, um, I'm actually doing a video response to a question I received about how to more or less superimpose an image on top of another using PowerPoint. So I'm going to try and go through that. Um, we're going to pretty much do the following steps. We're going to insert images into our PowerPoint presentation. Then we're going to go about removing the background from one of those images. And after that, our last step will actually adjust the layer level forward or backward depending on um, the arrangement that we'd like our layers to be. So let's go ahead and start this topic. So I'm going to generate a new slide. All I have to do is just click on a slide and click enter on my keyboard to be able to create a new slide. And um, in this case, you know, always 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 uh, I know I've showed this in previous presentations but definitely resize your poster um, to the design size that you need it to be so I'll click on design slide size custom slide size and in this case I already have it set up to the dimensions I would like I'd like it to be landscape and I would like it to be a 34 by 22 poster so as you see with the height they're all set up uh, <clears throat> now what I'm interested in doing is more or less inserting images into my presentation. So this is step one. Step one, we're going to go to the insert tab, pictures. I'm going to navigate somewhere on my, my computer for the images that I'd like to use in this presentation or this PowerPoint uh, poster. So in this case, I'm going to take Running Man. So that's going to be one of my images that I'm going to work with. And the next image I'm going to insert, I'll go to pictures, will be uh, just a, probably one of the generic pictures from Windows. So that's what I'm going to do next. Or some generic images I have happen to have on my computer. So I'm going to resize this. And as you see, of course, um, this image will lay on top. Uh, now, let's say for whatever reason, I, I just chose some random images. We'll see if this works well. Um, I want to put the running man, this guy, on top of the blue back area of the sky. So of course, you know, you might not want to do that. There might be a better cor correlated image, but let's just pretend like I want to do that. Or maybe I want to make it look like the running man is part of the background of this house. So what I need to do is one of two things. First, I might want to consider uh, maybe cropping this Running Man image. So I'll go to the Format ribbon, choose Crop, and just pull down through the Crop bar on the side the dimension of this uh, extra white space that I don't need. Next thing I might want to do is, of course, click somewhere outside of the image. So I'm just going to choose an empty space above and now I have cropped out that selection. Now of course I still have to work on actually um, turning the running man into uh, well just just the running man. I don't want the white in the background. So to do that, I'm going to resize this image. To do that I need to first adjust the background um, so that it, the white goes away it's transparent. So We'll go to Format tab. Inside of the Format tab, again, this is the second step, we're going to go to Remove Background. As you notice, anything that is purple, once I click on Remove Background, anything that is purple is what is considered uh, not, uh, or excuse me, is what is considered as transparent. I'll adjust the sizing of this box here which that helps more or less capture the essence of whatever I want to actually transpose. Then the next thing I need to do is I need to mark the areas I, I want to keep. So automatically PowerPoint has determined for me what it thinks I want to take out and what it thinks I want to keep. Well obviously it's not completely correct. It's just kept the black outlines more or less. So I'm going to click on Mark Areas to Keep. And I have a pencil icon up here uh, for my new cursor. And from here, I'll just draw out 
across the areas that I would like to keep. So as long as I left click, drag, and drop a line along the areas I wish to keep, this will allow me to actually bring in to view what originally was taken out. Of course this might take a little bit of time as we process through. And I'll just say that that's a good amount of selections there. So once I'm happy with the markups that I've made, at this point my interest will be to keep all the changes. And there you go. Now I can just move the running man across. But we still have an issue. If I were to try to place the running man on top of this image here, well, he's going behind it. And the reason why the running man is appearing behind the image, even though I'm putting it what I would suspect to be on top, is because I need to bring the running man forward. So imagine you have several different transparency sheets. Well, <clears throat> whatever the object, whatever object you put in last, the very, very last object, um, in this case it was this picture of the house, that was the last object I put in. This is going to be the object that's going to appear on top. This layer right here, uh, this image, is the first layer that we initially put in. Thus, that's going to be on the bottom. I need to rearrange my layers. So there are several ways of doing this. First, one way, we can go to the Format tab, which is a contextual tab that has appeared, and then we'll click on Bring Forward. After I click on Bring Forward, you'll notice that it appears on top of my picture image. So more or less, uh, that is how you would superimpose an image on top of another as you so desire.